Hello and welcome to uh, Stephen Tries Pog. What? How do we start? This? <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Stephen Tries Podcast, Series Three, Episode Thirty. I think. Yeah, really? yeah. Wow. That's mad. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, welcome to the podcast, <laughs> Cameron yeah. Green. Hey, hey. Hey. Cameron. Uh, sexy top. Uh, Joe McGrath. Thank you. Hey. 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 Oh. It's not cute when you do. It's like Harry Potter. What is? Do you know in uh, number three, the wolf? I'm worried uh, yeah, that yeah. you doing that. Every dog within a three mile radius now knows that call already. Yeah. <laughs> For the record, they're all the running around the living room. Don't let him! Shit all over the car. <laughs> one minute in. <laughs> you started it! Yeah, you I just howled, I howled, howled. No, You're the I one that's got the encyclopedic knowledge of when dogs howled, are in like, movies. I barked, I howled. Howl. I'm Matt yeah. Smith. Hello, hey. 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 Speaking hey. of dog shit. <laughs> Stephen's haircut. Hey. Uh, yeah, Steve, yeah. have you had your teeth done? No. They're very white. They look great. I've got, a, uh, I've got a new toothbrush head. Nice. They look really good. How long get the old one? Uh, too long, you know. How long's too long? A year at least. A year? A year. One toothbrush head. <laughs> That's a long time for a toothbrush head. It's kind of a long time. Is it? My, my, my How long do you have your tooth? Yeah. Do you brush your teeth? Fuck off. <laughs> So you, you 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 went like that. After I know, yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> my pearly whites. <laughs> How are you doing, Jeff? Good, thank you. I thought I, I went to see. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm not about a dog. No, sorry, no, no, sir. No, no, no. <laughs> I am the man with the dog. I thought it was a straight. <laughs> <laughs> I went to somewhere to see about my hair. To, oh, to wow. see if I need a hair transplant, right? No. So this is in a it was in a weird weird farm. Outside of Wilmslow, red flag straight away, and what? and it was all about. Uh, I was just going to go and have a consultation about oh, it. I am not buying this. You went to a place where there's animals. Down <laughs> 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 to the yeah, judge, guys. Like half an hour late. I like, <laughs> <laughs> went in there and straight away I just started laughing because the waiting room was just full of people, balded men. And I'm like, oh, me. for fuck's sake, this isn't what good. What did you expect? Lovely heads of hair. <laughs> I don't know, I wanted to see some, there was a lot of befores in there. I wanted to see some afters, do you know what I mean? I you would be in the waiting room, though. Like, like, fucking afros or something. You want yeah. an afro? No, oh, I don't <laughs> want an afro, that costs a lot of money. That'd be amazing. But also, but good news, good news. Oh, great. I don't need the transplant. There's I nothing they can do. Yeah, there's <laughs> you're, be, you're beyond health. <laughs> no, I need treatment. Yeah. What? So... Essentially, this guy whacks out this camera, which is like consuming. It can zoom into each individual hair molecule, and wow. you can see it, wow. right? And he was like, "Listen, he wasn't there for long, then." No, <laughs> <laughs> no he was all easiest gig. <laughs> all three of them. That's five hundred quid. <laughs> what he saw was that my hair molecules are still there. Is it follicles? Follicles. follicles yeah. Follicles are still yeah. there, but they're either very thin hairs, or do you know a follicle? Can bring four hairs a follicle. Wow. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mine are only doing one and a half. Oh. So he was like, and a half. We'll get you under this laser twice oh. a week, twice a month, free for a year. You should be fine. Free for a year? Not free. Christ. I thought you said free for a year. No, for a year. So I've got to go in there twice a month for a year now. Take some meds, mm. put a little bit of gel in my hair, this thing, and then hopefully I'll be like, whew. Did you see the before and afters of that treatment? He did. He showed me some before and afters that he's taken himself. They're all right. Himself. The Photoshop's a powerful tool. Is it, do you think? (laughs) I'm picturing when he said to get the animal hair on. There's a load of people looking at like Dennis Rodman (laughs) with half a cow's ass on the red. Thanks, Doc. (laughs) So, yes, that's what I've been up to. That's amazing. Well done. So, yeah. I'm excited to see the results. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This could be a before and after. Yeah. Can I ask how much roughly is it? Would it's it be expensive. cheaper to go to Turkey? It's about a couple of grand. Wow. Two, Jesus. A Buy a wig, mate. But tear in a can. for a year. <laughs> so spread out over 12 months. Sure. Whereas you a hair transplant... Like little woods of hair transplant. Hair transplant's about mm. four grand. Well, that's... You need to give it them then. Yeah. Wait till they bring this out on very pay. <laughs> <laughs> Clan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, hopefully, if we're doing My hair's this going out this month. In a year's time. There'll be folk oh. going to the government trying to get a barnet on yeah. the tick. You <laughs> imagine as soon as you this. Imagine if I look like you. Your yeah. hair. God, that'd be good. Well, why would you just put the hair there? That is expensive. Yeah, what about, the, the, what about the rest so, of it? Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of so course, yeah, the rest. Of when course. When it grows, 
will it grow to just like a certain length or just carry on growing forever and ever then? And no, it will carry on growing to a certain length, whatever that year gives me. I can then pay for another year, but I'm all, I'm all so. Out. So you'll have the same haircut then for the rest of your life, presumably. Yeah, because yeah. you'd be too afraid yeah. to get rid of it because yeah, it's a full grand hair. It's fucking, is I'm a bit scared. Actually. Is this for the wedding? Yeah, with, it, with that in mind. With that in mind, so I won't be. Di- we won't be getting married till after. I can see it happening. What? I know what's going to happen? What's going to happen? He's going to shave your head at some point. Oh, don't shave. No. <laughs> Why are you saying it to me? Because he pointed it out to you. He definitely will. Oh, I bet one of the you fucking. I bet one of the punishments. It will, be, it will be. It yeah. will. It'll be something absolutely terrible. The person who's obsessed with that is Tom, and he's not here anymore. That's true. He yeah. was obsessed with the idea of shaving Ryan's head when he's asleep. Was but he? he's still yeah. he's still online though. Still sending messages to Stephen. Stephen's going to say. Do you yeah, not speak to Tom anymore? No. I oh, message him. He didn't reply. I messaged him and he didn't Once, reply. Surely the amount of it's... times you've heard him, I've heard. I always reply to him. In... Like, I would reply and I'd say, "No, I'm not going out, Tom." There we go. <laughs> so fucking get get it right, Tom. Yeah. Uh, Cameron, yeah, luscious locks. They come mm-hmm. with me soon. They tell you some up, keep telling you. Do they? Telling you, yeah, yeah. How much? I don't know. Give Annabelle a couple of quid. Go B and M, get some conditioner. <laughs> you have a can personal you, shopper. Can you not go I'm, to B and M yourself? Not a personal shopper. I'm, I'm a busy man. I'm a real busy man. <laughs> yeah, B and M's good though, isn't it? Well, I can't argue with that. I can't. Do you argue like, do you like B and M, Steve? I, I don't really You've go never shopping. Been in. Really, never to B and M. It's great. It looks at me from a personal shopper. This man. I go, I go to Sainsbury's but doesn't I even buy his own like you'd like b and <laughs> why would I like B&M why, can't tell him it's just everything you could ever want in B&M. why don't you go then we'll go now if you want we yeah, could, could go. you go you go you <laughs> like the bags you 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 like the lights in shops what kind of split personality <laughs> things do you think I've got hey. where I'm, I'm mean or <laughs> I've got dinner steak and kidney purge like <laughs> 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 Where's me Frey Bentos? You bitch. <laughs> have you, have you it tried wasn't me that it was. Yeah, what? You, you give me a Frey Bentos. I've, had, I've tried a Frey Bentos. It's not that nice. On a video? Never on a video. You should do. Yeah. You should Why? do. Why? Yeah, video. a bit of content. Can oh, I be right, honest? Content. Food reviews are a lot more interesting when you're trying something like that. Something in yeah, a some tin. Yeah, shit. Oh, right, I've gone to this takeaway in you know, altering them. Whatever. I'm having a pie from the World War times. That's it's been true. Kept yeah. tin. Spam as well. And what you could do is go to the takeaways with a Frey Bentos and angrily demand that they cook you this. Or just fry yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Could, could you fry Stick a Frey, Frey Bentos? Bentos. You can fry anything, couldn't you, mate? Is that Probably. true? Of course it is. I reckon, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, Instant what an idea. Like pulmonary embola. Yeah, fry a pie. Yeah, fry That's fry a great, Frey Frey great video. Fry a pie. Yeah, I'll do it. Go for it. You do for fry a pie, but it'd be bad. That'd be If anyone could. If it was possible, I'd have done it already. Guaranteed, I'd have done that already. But With you can. You spoil Annabelle's enough. been in Amsterdam the last few days. I've had like a pig. Pardon? Uh, while Annabelle, I've just picked her up this morning for Amsterdam. While she's not been there to like rein me in, I've had like a Like what? Pig. <laughs> just had a big trough. So she leaves first night <laughs> and I had, I had like a whole pizza ready to rumble, which is too much for me anyway. But I thought, <clears throat> might not be enough this. Best do some chips. <laughs> Add that. Pizza and chips. No Love fucking it. worries. Add that. Oh so God. I'm full after that. Next more, <laughs> next day, <laughs> I go, I go shopping, and because uh, she's not there to do it for me, yeah, boo. get get some burgers, and I think I'm gonna have two patties on one bun. I'm gonna be a bit naughty here. They wouldn't realise there's too much for one burger. I don't want to waste it. I'll have to have two burgers, and I think, <laughs> well, I can't just have two burgers. I best make some chips. Oh, you make more chips. You <laughs> constantly cheering out chips. Yeah, that <laughs> chip fryer is on. Fucking it's not been turned off. Chip fryer. <laughs> You want the active fryer? The air fryer makes oh, the air fry's them great. nailed on the every time. The air fryer's great. And then, uh, are they good? Yeah, fuck me, good. man. Yeah. yeah. Do you love them? I think I go through three fields <laughs> worth of potatoes a week because the air fryer is not up to snuff. Do you get them from the same farm he gets his air from? <laughs> <laughs> not a <air> fryer. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call me look at me after <laughs> that's not a spud that's Joe <laughs> <laughs> no I paid for grand <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried now what they have next night then um, oh I went and bought a rump steak oh, Jesus, I'll, have a sa- I'll have a salad you're living it large aren't go- you well that's it I thought, <laughs> potatoes I'm, are veg I'm going to have a steak with this salad and then made the salad no it's uh, not enough dad I'll no. see if I can't stick it on a sandwich <laughs> yeah. stick it on a sandwich you make like this uh, I'll have a sandwich sauce <laughs> with it fucking nailed on <laughs> I make all this shit and I make me little sauce with the garlic and the coriander I've got loads left and I think God, I don't want to waste the garlic and coriander yeah yeah <laughs> Get on some sauce. chips. 
And as soon as that was finished, I rolled off the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sleep here tonight. Did you sleep on the sofa? Could we probably go upstairs? Is a fucking stain on the floor from where oh, I was just like, no. oh. You're a burglar's dream after a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Get back. <laughs> Very different version of Home Alone, that. Move out the way of the door. Not the air flyer. <laughs> 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 yeah, I bet like an absolute pig. No regrets whatsoever. Imagine you as like a vicar and you've got the bread and wine. <laughs> I could do with some gin. <laughs> <laughs> this I'll is <laughs> <laughs> I see you've got this uh, bread and this fish. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah, you're telling me you're the Messiah and you're not made chips. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever received the bread? Uh, I might have done, I don't know. Have you There's, received it? No, that's why I don't go to church, you? mate. And like, it, they're not, they don't even put fucking wedges on. Enough it's not going. <laughs> 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 it's Elvis and B&M, I'm telling you. You're not special. So <laughs> Do you want He's spreading the word? And I, I have got you a little present. Do you want your little present? Oh, I'd love that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, he's got a birthday. birthday. Yeah, he's birthday. Anyway, I thought, well, he's got the kids. Uh, they're another way to yeah. from. July. This is... This is... Oh. There you go. It's the ugliest, most horrible kit wow. I've found on the internet. Wow, wow, we were. Poor dear. Oh, Sandy Man, who it. I have worn before. Yeah, I know. Oh, beautiful. I don't think. <gasps> mate, I love a mother rice. That is, I'm the... Check it out. <laughs> oh, check it out of the bag and look at the old thing. No, wait till you see it. No, I love this. This isn't the reaction I wanted. I wanted him to like. Well, he's happy, I man. I think he's it's lo- horribly ugly. Okay. Who's on the back? No one on the back, I don't think. <laughs> and another, oh, another Commodore Miller. Logo. Commodore Miller. Another yogurt logo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I feel it's all right. That. That's all right, yeah, I love that. Everyone remembers the Commodore. Par- <laughs> Paris Saint-Germain's greatest ever player. I think that's wearable at least. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah, you look right, cool. Then. Thank you very much, Cam. No. You're too kind. Thank right. you, Cam. I, I, was, I, was, I was hoping you'd be like sick in your mouth. Oh, too. No, no, I, like, no I, I think the, the Muller's really the Muller everything logo. together. <laughs> oh, all right, fair enough then. That's very I mean, nice. To be fair, the Muller yogurt does go with the rest of the calls. Yeah, really, yeah. They, they, they know what they were doing. Through. They know what they were doing. Sometimes hey. sponsors just look ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Muller, though, good at corners. Hey! 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 He, he might have won this week. That's <laughs> 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 good, that. <laughs> uh, um, what are you going to say, Max? I just said, was their logo a pram under the Eiffel Tower? What is that? Yeah. Why is there a pram? Did you... You see a little oh, I, saw, I saw a little pram, yeah. <laughs> it's because they called Paris the cradle of life. So wow. that's where it's come from. Who does that? to be the oh, cradle cool. of life. Was that in the history episode they've, you did? They've changed the logo now. No, it's just a oil can. Just a word Muller. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that's, you very much. That's really, that's really nice, mate. So I've definitely had worse kits. Uh, oh, yeah, I can see one. Like the one you're wearing now. Hey. Fucking hell. doing this like a big coin. <laughs> did, all, did all of us say that at the same time? No, you and Max did. Pretty, but you beat him. But you, you said it to Stephen, I said it to you. Oh, what the fuck? I think he's nice. Oh, well, that's that's kind of un- unnationalistic. You, you get rid of that, it's very nice. You're not in England. You're not supporting England this. You're not no, I'm, su- I'm supporting Switzerland. No. Oh, did you get him in a sweep? Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that's all right, that. Yeah, really good. I got Is Argentina it? and France. No. France will do well. Ah, France will do well. Yeah, well. The Ballon d'Or in Argentina the Ballon d'Or winner gets injured, and then Argentina lose to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> and they're off to a great start. <laughs> you reckon they're just doing it to wind you. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon so. I reckon so. I wouldn't put it past them. Not one bit. I didn't do what Zoe got Iran. However, Oof. in her work, mm. the the worst team gets a prize as well. I think that's nice. Is that figured out by goal difference and all that? Basically, yeah. I said to her, Iran have got ter- terrible women's rights. You say, as a feminist, I don't want this team. It's true. She probably, yeah. probably could have got away with that yeah. little HR issue. <laughs> yeah, I've been scouring the Swiss about their, yeah, you know, yeah, female yeah. rights. But yeah. well, how are the Swiss right. and their female yeah, okay, rights? I think. I think I'm going to go on a train in Switzerland soon. I think. Oh, yeah. Nice. The trains are mint. Have you, seen, have you ever seen a train in Switzerland? I've been on a tram in in Basel. Thanks for up here, Jim. Just really nice trains. Really. Yeah. Google that's me, that's me sold. That's me sold 100%. Oh, so come. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'll have to check my calendar. I might, I might be washing my hair again that day. <laughs> speaking of... Uh, takes a lot Takes a lot of washing. I, I won't. Uh, what are you speaking of? Trains. <laughs> Trains. Kits. Basil. Yogurt. Train, trains and women's rights. You can oh, only, women's you rights. Can, you can only rights. pick one. <laughs> <laughs> you can only take one. <laughs> uh, Joe, you've been DJing shopping centres. Oh, yeah. With Max. Have you? With yeah. me? 
Oh God, yeah. <laughs> have <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> right, me. let me tell you this. Right, so I was DJing the shop sets of the UK again. Right. You must have heard <laughs> again. Um, yeah, yeah, did like did last year. <laughs> they loved you so much they brought you back. Oh mate, Bristol. How did you find that playlist? <laughs> <laughs> play, play FM. Bristol, Birmingham, Leeds this year. No Manchester, so I didn't have a hometown gig. The world tour. I was going to make a little poster. But I didn't. Um, and uh, what he said, DJing from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. Right, hell, I was just have it easy. Christ. Just basically, what I did was I got up a really, I made like a really long playlist and just pressed play. You did your shopping, didn't you? Yeah, it was I on. Did. <laughs> do you know what? I'm not. I'm never want to do it again. Studying B and M. That's me, though. <laughs> but, that's, uh, that's one of mine. <laughs> so so what it is is in this little in this they've got they built this uh there's a brand that built this uh like s- scary house nice but so for insurance reasons only four people can go in this li- little scary house at a time right so it means that the families are, uh, are often in the queue for ages yeah so they learned from last year and this year they brought a magician along oh. to entertain the yeah. families and yeah. I was building up to this magician and and when I saw him I couldn't fucking believe it. I texted straight away when you gotta see this magician. He does he does look <laughs> similar to you. Have you got really? a photo? Yeah. Yeah. To get a photo? I've got yeah. I, I, I mean, it, give me yeah. give me a second. So magic Ian Chat making some more money. That's what I was thinking, Magic Ian. Shut amongst yourselves. I'm look. still picturing him still there like clean up on aisle ten, there's a dirty tune on the mount. <laughs> 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 Another one of mine. <laughs> Shabba. Well, like you said, they learned from last year. <laughs> Joe was definitely in that queue. It's <laughs> causing a fucking problem. <laughs> morning, morning. <laughs> what are you up in that house? It's not even a DJ. She's got his boombox next to him in the queue. <laughs> right, here he is. This is. Oh, fuck off. Let's have a look. This is one of the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <guess. laughs> so it's fucking Max, isn't it? No! It is one of Max's all, characters, isn't it? What are you going on about? <laughs> oh, no. Let me find another it's, video. It's, it's a fat guy <laughs> with black <laughs> hair. It's brilliant. He's so narrow. <laughs> What's going on? He looks like a Pixar can character, Can I send you, man. can I show you a video? Yeah. He looks like Rafa Benitez. He looks a little bit like you. You know, right, let me so send you a video of uh, what he looked like as well. Um, no, that's just us dancing. I sent it to you, didn't I, Steve? Yeah. There we go, my conversation. He just, but he was really good, but he was a mind reader as well. Oh, yeah, he's a mind. <laughs> right. Fuck off, I don't look like him. He's I look- look like me. <laughs> Press play on that. <laughs> <laughs> His mind's reading there. He looks fucking like stressed. <laughs> he was stressed. <laughs> He's read your mind, isn't he? <laughs> That's what he's scared of. <laughs> this guy should be in a food court. Why is he just hanging around the top? Because he's, he's got, he's got. A <laughs> he looks like me standing outside a scary house trying to get people yeah, in. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. mate. Brilliant. <laughs> Only four allowed in at a time. Just your kids. <laughs> the adults can't come in. <laughs> Just your two boys and girl. I, I am too a magician. I'll make your kids disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading their mind. They go, ah! <laughs> uh, oh, uh, uh, cheers, mate. Karen, you've moved house. Hey! Oh, yeah. Hey! That, that, that long. Yeah. Oh. How's it going? All right now. Yeah, well, that's a oh, right, right now, now, baby. Great song. Was that in your playlist? Yeah, yeah, it was. Is it? Don't just lie. It, know, it, it might be, be it might be easier to the same that. songs that weren't in the playlist. <laughs> Such trepidation. Uh, uh, <laughs> Get us in a haunted house. We don't want to be near him anymore. <laughs> it's soundproof today. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> So they can't hear the screams. <laughs> Everyone's screaming coming out that house. It's really fucking scary. Go, let me go back to the house. Let me stay. Please. <laughs> Welcome to the show tunes hour. I was listening to Katy Perry. A lot of Katy Perry in my playlist. Jeez. Firework, raw. House move. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, pain to move into. Place was filthy. Absolutely filthy, like. And now it's just covered in grease and chip stains. <laughs> <laughs> Chips, <laughs> no, the, the outline of where I've been on the floor, dripping grease. <laughs> 
Why is there a free bentos on the ceiling? <laughs> oh, we're looking for that. Put that in a sandwich. They're, sti- they're sticky when you fry them. <laughs> Look at some chips up there. With uh, yeah, it's filthy when we moved in. Really? I hate um, that. Had a nightmare with the uh, letting agents who were like, I, I rung them up and was like, you're right, love. It's Cameron Green here from... Blah, blah, blah. She was like, hello, love. Are you all right? <laughs> like, no, I'm pretty fucking far from all right, actually. Oh, no. You moved into the wrong house then. <laughs> <laughs> She basically told us they could only have a cleaner in. (laughs) (laughs) This house is fucking shit (laughs) style. That's my house. (laughs) And there's some fucking weirdo playing music on your lap. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, it's Katy Perry. (laughs) Um, She said, we'll have a cleaner in. We can only get them in next week. And it, it needed doing straight away. So the landlady's dead sound and has like paid us for doing all the cleaning. But when you move into a new house, she, she paid you. It's not what you want to do. Yeah, she paid us to Jeez. basically do the cleaning, like not it off the rent. Oh, nice. Oh, so we've nice. actually got like a month's rent for about hundred and fifty each. We just so keep cleaning it, and she'll keep taking the price down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Well, yeah. The thing is, now when we move, if we don't get the deposit back, I could literally set fire to the gaff yeah, and like yeah, blown yeah. it up. And still, it'd have been a better state than when we moved in. Yeah, fair. Wow. So I'll definitely get all the deposit back, and we'll be laughing. So I literally can't lose in the end. Yeah. Nice. It's Why are you thinking about shit. losing your deposit already? Well, I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, if you wait long enough, yeah. everything that's bad eventually. Do you reckon the last people got their deposit back? Oh yeah, you should, you should fucking hope not. Mm. Sweet Jesus and Nazareth, if they went and saw a Sweet. penny, if they saw a penny of that deposit back, that'd be miraculous. Yeah. Is that they, they live like animals. Uh, they live like great big hairy afro pigs. <laughs> this is this is not <laughs> ideal. Fuck off. Well, well, next is Max. Fucking well, okay, fat next hairy afro. You, you had to go Ooh, in. What a like segue! Oh, no, not on the radio now. I was, just, I was saying what we were on about before with the animals on the farm and all that. You know, the hairy well, animals. He's gonna say he's gonna, gonna say, say fat. Fucking hairy afro pigs. And Stephen's going to say, speaking of which, no, no, I, uh, Max, no, what no, have you been no, up no. to? Next, next fucking Max. wanker. Max, what's he been doing? Yeah. You prick. <laughs> Fat hairy afro pigs. Uh, he said Max, it once and, no, and, then, and then came back to it. No. And then did afro. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of people that live in homes, Max, what have you been up to? Lost mine, man. <laughs> uh, that's that's, so, I'm down there. that's even worse than what he said. <laughs> uh, I have a couple of quid, you have rope. Go get yourself a shave. <laughs> I'm not going to waste the money on a shave. Yeah. <laughs> I'm buy food with it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Stephen. Uh, yeah, good man. Cheers. What? <laughs> what? Don't, what? Well, I've yes, you are. You're working. Go on, Joe. How's work? Yeah, it's all right, mate. You know, giving customers drinks, getting <laughs> getting some money money in return. Nice. Putting it in the till, never to be seen again. Uh, what else? Uh, got my internet. Nice. So got internet. Yes. Do you know what? Do you know what? The feeling of doing a speed test, it's saying five megabits a second. <laughs> doing it when the internet's in, it says 600. Wow! Oh, fucking blown back. Good. Yeah. Cool. You got what? Blown back. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> One of the perks is the guy sucks you off when he puts the oh, thing in. Oh, that's crap. Fucking <laughs> weirdo, Joe. Uh, so be Virgin Media then. <laughs> hey! Are you a virgin if you get a blowy? Don't ask me, mate. Yeah. Any more ways to find out in there? <laughs> To the church. <laughs> Grab the chips. <laughs> Tom turned 30. Well done, Tom. Well done, Tom. No, he didn't. 32, 32. Wasn't it? Yeah. 32. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. Surprised me. Though. Getting up uh, there, isn't he? We did, we did a little video message for him. Uh, Joe, he's in Vietnam, not Venice. I got it. I was nearly there. <laughs> yeah, do you remember that scene in Apocalypse Now on the gondolas? <laughs> <laughs> it's sinking! It's sinking! <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> that, that scene in did, you cut that, did you cut that bit out <laughs> Charlie Sheen's getting shot in the back and he was this close to getting his gazpacho <laughs> my granddad uh, can't actually sleep anymore because he gets Venice flashbacks <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> um, you got his age wrong yours was fine Ryan, Ryan's was the least effort though 
Really? Hey Tom, <laughs> happy birthday, we have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 32 though. Yeah. yeah um, I've messaged Ryan to ask for a favour. Cool. <laughs> there we go. Nope. Get you in the school. Oh, what? Well, that's weird. That's weird. Why do you mind? Don't come over to me, to mate. To you weirdo. Holding <laughs> <Bold and> nonce. <laughs> what? <laughs> Save it for when you're doing St John's on the weekend, mate. <laughs> What's happening? What the ambulance? No, oh, it's a it's a shopping centre in Liverpool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I asked. I thought, yeah, I'd have gone to shopping centre. Yeah, I know you get it. I asked Ryan to do. Um, some little messages as a Wickham fan to like say how are England getting on so I just needed him to answer on this thing like do you think England will win the World Cup and this was like four or five days ago and he's like yeah sure man I don't know if he's still thinking about it or what or whether he's just waiting until like he oh, was, really? he was the 10 last minutes to send the video message for Tom as well he's I think his phone's been confiscated from him yeah it could be, could be. I'd hope so send all his videos to Joe <laughs> sorry mate I went too far earlier. Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Ryan. Tom's, 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 Tom's been travelling. Uh, he fell off his motorbike. Did he? Oh, he's he always injured yeah. himself, didn't yeah. he? He hurt himself. Uh, scraped his leg. Um, get better, Tom. I ran the motorcycle. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Probably that old age, mate. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to that. No, if it started, you <laughs> He'd have thought when he was fighting in Venice, he'd have learned all those years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, eh? <laughs> anyway, uh, Ryan's on tour. Nothing's really happened with that. It's boring. We should probably do the, the beer 52. Hey. Beer 52, 52, 52, 52. 52. Yeah. Out of sync there, really. <laughs> I've forgotten it. It's been so long. It has been so long. Look at that wow. little Wow, fragile. What's in there? <laughs> Guess what they're offering? Ooh! Hand jobs. It's a free case of 10 beers <laughs> for just £5.95 postage. A um, couple of snacks. Oh, hello. Uh, Thank you. Pete. Oh, sorry. Well, now you're last to be offered. Uh, pizzeria bits, bites. <laughs> oh. oh, that sounds pretty good. Or roasted fava bean snack. I don't, I don't, want, want, <laughs> don't want my father's beans, beans please. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Anyway, <laughs> they're, they're just a couple of the snacks they like to send. We wish you a merry beer miss. I was thinking Merry Merry Pistmas, but nice, yeah. We wish you a Merry Beermas. We wish you a Merry Beermas from Beer Fifty Two. Yeah, with the World yeah. Cup on and Christmas coming soon, my very good friends at Beer Fifty Two are offering you a free case of not eight, not nine, but ten delicious craft beers. Simply go to www.beer52.com forward slash Stephen S D E P H E N and cover the meagre postage of five pounds ninety five to receive your free case of ten unique beers now. I've been a member of Beer 52 for years. How Before many? For the Cubs and Scouts, I was a member of Beer 52, Joe. Got that in your head? Each month, they send their members a case of beer from a different part of the world. World, world Cup on, would you like a Swiss beer? That'd be great. Oh, very what are nice. What you doing, Max? You just looking emotional staring at a beer. What happened with that drink in the past? It's got like Picasso-style artwork, <laughs> which Marsh, is Marsh. very exciting for an artiste exciting. like me. Yeah. We'll say. My, I've got a contemporary IPA. I don't know what that means. No. Oh, I've got a pilsner. One, this one looks one. more you, Joe. Thank you. I've looks got like a mank beer. All a sops. Beer. All sops. Burger. Not burger. Pilsner. <laughs> <laughs> burger in can. <laughs> Review that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is a thing. Oh, wow. Oh, that's... Oh. Hey, do you know what? They're all very lovely looking, aren't they? Yeah, yeah I love the... Fun, what, I? We might put some of these up on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Have you put a hole in your wall as well? <laughs> oh man, that's got me tipsy, man. Yeah. I'm fucking crunk. <laughs> uh, they showcase the best independent breweries from across the globe, so there's no better way to enjoy good beer during the World Cup. Favourite country for beer? England. Oh. Jamaican. Also included is Ferment Magazine. Wow! Is that wow. definitely not included in there? That's a shame, isn't it? What? The Ferment magazine, that's a shame. Well, they, they sent two of the cases, so maybe it's in one of them. Better the posties nicked it. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah if he's not on tasty strike. Snacks. Even if, after all that, you're <laughs> still unsatisfied, you can simply pause or cancel any time. Something my girlfriend does. That's <laughs> www.beer52.com forward slash Stephen, S T E P H E N, to claim your free case now. That's beer52.com forward slash Stephen. 
Thank you very much, Beer52. Oh, you're right there. Come here. You you loyal, loyal, loyal sweetness. Anyway, it's time to... Ooh! We've got some complaints, probably. Oh. Even though we've not been on air. Well, I'll write them. <laughs> people, people love to complain. Some chips with I don't think we've had any new complaints. Hey, we finally grabbed wow. it! We did it! Thank you, guys. A perfect we, show. That's <laughs> admittedly weird. You don't put them out anymore. <laughs> All it took was cancelling it. <laughs> Dive one of Max's father's beans. <laughs> Somehow we won, guys. Uh... Time to slag off a podcast. Hey! hey. They're all uh, shite. This week it is... Not all of them. Mm. Oh, this one. This week it is Sloppy Joes. <laughs> oh, sloppy, yeah. sloppy... More like Sloppy Presenter. Yep. Okay. Not, not enough one. canned like, goods for one. More like Sloppy Production. Why? I'll explain my gripe with the, the uh, Sloppy Joes podcast. First of all, my name's been hashtagged in every episode since I've been on. Not even involved. Oh, that's not me. That I don't even know what that means. Joe, you you're pretty much the face of it. You need to take take control of that. Yeah. Which uh, one's sloppy and which one's Joe? <laughs> we all know. Just yeah. make it clear. Just own the brand. <laughs> and then we've got Max has also been in uh, been on the show. Why is his not ha- name not hashtagged? Yeah. So I'm not being rude. Rude. That's that's being rude. Yeah. Spiteful. You are one of the most popular nine out of ten clubs. Oh, the 9 out of 10 club. That's Swivel right. on that. Just because you brought in fucking cereal. Oh, can I say Cheerios was what I represented as your favourite cereal. I gave a bit of a, bit of a, yeah, it wasn't roast chicken. Great, oh, 9 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Mine was more of a, a conception. I can't go for a cereal that's 9 out of 10 for everyone. Well, that's come. Right, we do Shut think up, you- Joe. I'm ranting here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Cheerios, <coughs> it was mocked. It was laughed at. Next week... Your co-presenter, Joe Smith, who holds the show together, I'll say. <laughs> oh, my favourite cereal's Cheerios. Why is it in the fucking 9 out of 10 club? Your oh. favourite cereal's 9 out of 10. Everyone knows it. Load up that the second, a, second one was a protein bar. Oh, Stephen, you have to buy these yourself and bring them in. Oh, no, no, just no I fucking, said we'll pay them back. We sent segment. him money for the chicken. I, I didn't get any money for that. Wait. <laughs> anyway, a segment just to feed Joe's gullet, is it? Because he can't last an hour of talk about eating. You just Fuck handed off. me beers and crisps. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make you pay for them. <laughs> Prefer like red berry cereal to be fair. It's called special care. Uh, no, there's a there's an Aldi one called Harvest Morn. It's Harvest a, Morn yeah, is nice. That's good. Harvest. Great budget cereal there. Not fucking kidding. Yeah, you, you would know it's budget. Harvest Morn red. No, no, no you wouldn't. You would. Well, you would because of the price. Special K, <laughs> too crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on the one show. <laughs> <laughs> Gaddy <laughs> Please welcome our next guest Martin Lewis <laughs> <laughs> Ma- Martin do you like roast chicken? <laughs> He's answered to everything this harvest morning <laughs> Have you tried insulating your house with harvest morning? <laughs> <laughs> I just love it this guy? Don't get any milk in it though or it'll ruin <laughs> Uh uh, disgusting. Apologies, job. I'll do better. Like I say, uh, I really like Joe Smith. I think he's really funny. Mm. Uh, yeah, I love that you're doing. Co- all right, bit gobby. Um, you, you've upset me. Uh, time for punishments. Oh, you, fu- you did a punishment on, on on your podcast, didn't you? Waxing. Yeah, well, that before wax. somewhere. Mm. No. Before somewhere. No, no. I lost. I lost a quiz, and then the punishment was to give him back waxed. It's just, it's just, you know, just because we might be dead doesn't mean you can just so, rob from the grave. So yeah. you had your back waxed on camera. That seems like more punishing for anyone who's watched that happening. Than nice. it no, no, it was very... Oh, you know, it was... It, you it was, you it very hairy back. That, that would be like someone laying carpet in reverse if you put the footage in reverse. <laughs> it, was one of the, it was one of the most painful <laughs> things I've ever had done. So You've had a sheltered life. Have you ever, had, you ever been waxed? Joe. <laughs> Have you? I've got something to play now. Which uh, there's always surprises in in the, in the podcast. Yeah, not with yours. <laughs> this is a surprise. I'll ask you a question, Stephen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but for us all, I think we can all take a minute to think. Mm. Have we got any goals that we want to complete by the end of 2022? <laughs> that sounds familiar, Max. Can oh goals World Cup? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> focus now. Focus. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in, man. <laughs> Why won't <what> we? <laughs> Do you remember the uh, the last final question that we did on this? No! Podcast? Oh, for fuck's oh, sake. you're kidding. No, no, no. no yeah, but that was ages ago. No, it was, it was about a month ago. Uh, and I say this. Yeah. this that, that podcast was from two weeks ago of yours. Fuck. 
And I know what's the most shocking thing is I made it to the end of your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, Joe, whilst you weren't in that episode where I asked the question, you did edit it. So therefore, you saw it for sure. I did. 100%. I did, but yeah, we just tried it down. That's it's, a good it's, question. It's lazy production on your part. <laughs> oh. No, what's going on now? I just, it's just a, a simple... No, there's not a fucking <laughs> chance I'll get that right. Not a fucking chance. No, there's not a chance. There's not a chance. I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. Right it's on there. Right <laughs> on there. Come on. I can't. I can't. It's so painful. You've got arms. That's going straight in your head and you're going straight in the active fryer, boy. <laughs> Go on, you cheeky little tater. If you... Uh, should we warm, warm those up? Where is it going to go? I'll arms. warm one up for you. Oh, my arms! Yeah. Check it here. What I'll are you talking about? I'm not my arms waxed. Oh, you are. Warm what about my legs? Okay, one mm. leg, one arm. No, no, I can't do my arms. Oh, my ass. What, yeah. what I like most of the struggle of pulling your pants up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just oh. pop it up and uh, that'll be good, Cam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, come on, we've got, we've got another yeah. one. Oh, that's too much, that. No, it's not, it's not. It's a punishment, <laughs> Joe. Fucking hell. You can fuck off. That's it, hey, two. Two. Can't waste Can't waste Can't waste your waste. Yeah, waste two. 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 That's two. two. Fuck off. Joe, we were speaking of women's rights earlier. Women have to go through this all the time. Fuck off. And you can't do it. <laughs> okay, put them all on. Falls oh, too much. On, We've on, all done this. It's not that bad. These aren't these aren't the, the proper ones. Who went right, go on then. Just rip them off. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's not a wax strip. Fuck off, Cam. I don't want free. <laughs> right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wax me bum. <laughs> <laughs> so right, you... you've got to rip that as hard as you can, Mac. Oh, no, no, no. Go on, go on, Mac. Ah! Oh, nice. Jesus, that's, that's nice. That is nice. Do you that's want to nice. keep that? No, give it to Cameron. Jesus, that's nice. <laughs> no, please fold it, yeah. Ah! Well done. Ah, Great actually, job. Actually, nice, actually, looking at all the chairs. Come on. I'm just going to pay for this. Uh, well done, Joe. Have well done, mate. That? That's not Don't deserve a clap, but you did well there, mate. Cool. Moving on to the, the news. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a podcast. I mean, you, you're having a podcast, but for some reason you've chosen to poach from us. It's a shame. It's a shame. Influence is a good word. How much, Joe, for us to wax your head? I'm not saying we're going to do it. It's one of those hypotheticals. How much for your head to be waxed? Fucking hell. Would it be like less than 50,000? <laughs> if it was it's five grand, you'd get a 50, replaced. 50 to 100,000. At least, a couple, that's that's a, at least a couple more grand's worth of your treatment for next year. Yeah, yeah I'd want yeah. to carry on my treatment for a yeah. while. So... 60,000 yeah. to wax your head, you'd do yeah. it. Nice. I always thought you should have shaved them. Oh, I've got such a big head, Cam. Pro- a proper hard case. I've got, yeah, but card I don't want to be an hard case. Yeah, you yeah. hard as fuck, though, wouldn't you? Mate, wear a, tri- <laughs> wear a trilby, a you'd be fine. Big. Oh, yeah, you could, yeah. You could be a, a hat guy. You could become a, a hat Fez, I oh, you'd be fez. sick in a fez, a mate. Fez. <laughs> yeah, you'd be amazing. I'd 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 a fez. Why wouldn't you a bit of culture? Fezzy McGrath. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you going into a fez. Fezzy McGrath. Fez. Yeah. That's, a, uh, that's we actually need to true. Up our game. Where are fezes from? What part of the world? Turkey. Egypt. Turkey. Let's get a pub team together. Japan. The hat shop. <laughs> you just culturally appropriate a different subset of people every day. Get a kimono. Oh yeah, sombrero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sombrero. Nice. I can wear. Oh, no, I don't but see. you make a mistake. You get a solero. <laughs> <laughs> the wasps. <laughs> Have you seen that guy speaking of Brit- British people overrating themselves and stuff? There's a guy who's made a song about Jack Grealish for the World Cup. Which one? And he's like, he goes like, his name is Jack Jack. <gasps> oh, not Jack Jack. He's, oh, he's, he's the worst. He's, I've seen I've that. Seen I've seen that. Like, he's my oh, he's boo-boo. such a mad guy. He's my oh, boo boo. He likes he's dances. He's boo-boo. like 44 and he dances and does mm. TikToks. I find it. He's the, he's I the, find he's, it. His name is Jack Jack. Awful, it's so, awful. so funny. The he's a bit of a, like a, a Rongan as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's fucked. <laughs> he's oh, a God, really weird it, guy. You remember. Before the Euros, there was a footballer that nobody knows. Now it's the World Cup, and he scores his goal. His name was Jack Jack. No, I mean, first of all, the do you know him? Knows. Do you know him? I only know this guy because Limmy keeps posting him saying, "I don't remember doing this." 
Can you can you get oh, the video? No, I, I, I get about the plane crash. Yeah, I want not, to see it's not got to my, it's no. not got to my best bit. It's all right. Favorite bit. He's my bubba. Oh, he's my boo 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 boo. <laughs> what does he mean? He's, he's, my goes, baba. he's my bubba. Bubba like he's my boo boo boo. Something you'd call your partner. Oh you. right, so just, I thought he said someone baba. posted a picture of like England fans <laughs> all topless <laughs> with like the face <laughs> painted on the British like British like that. Baba. And he's going, he's my bubba. He's my boo 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 boo. He's my bubba. He's my bubba. Oh yeah. He's just gonna be have to go to Qatar to get a haircut. <laughs> Just there with the blade. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. <laughs> Who's rage? Who? <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> Who does he think he's fooling? <laughs> That's weird. That's like so funny. That's like that little kid who's the in a smelly bastard. Have you seen it? That girl, she farts and blames it on a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> She's in like a, a utility closet doing a video and go, There's nothing that works. <laughs> and then goes, What uh, was that, you guys? I got really I'm into ghosts. I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Joe DJ outside. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got really into ghosts recently. Yeah. Oh yeah, because Netflix did a show. Have you seen the Netflix did a show? Oh, I'm not believing I I the, the ghosts. You mean. But basically, they put these ghost uh, detectives in these haunted houses, and they locked them in there for 28 days to yeah. see what they'd come up with. Yeah, and they they're just not right in the head. No, mm. like the, the ghost hunters. Yeah, the ghost hunters. One of them thought he was then about day 21. He'd been taken over by a demon. Wouldn't that just happen to you anyway? Yeah, if, I feel like you. Yeah, us two in there. For, for You'd have a great time. Days. Sure. You'd come out bald all over. <laughs> 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 Just us doing these speakers, Stephen. <laughs> Baby, you're a fart. <laughs> 28 days of playlist there. Yeah? When do we start? <laughs> With this button. Shab it. Using the Ouija board for requests. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gangnam Style it is. <laughs> <laughs> when did Gangnam Style <laughs> For four it a go, it's four other song. people in the haunted house. For fuck's sake, I thought we were safe here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the one in shop with full fuck me. Yeah, just me doing fucking magic tricks. Like. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Stephen, doing an ad read for Manscaped because we filmed the podcast too early. <laughs> Tis the season for clean balls. Fa la 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 la. Our friends at Manscaped are helping you clear your driveway for safe travels this holiday season. And by safe travels, they mean sex, I imagine. Grab some crop mops for your pops, or the body buffer for the holiday lover. (laughs) Win this year's White Elephant Gift and help all the men in your life go from eggnog to nice hog this December. And isn't that the spirit of Christmas? Hey, Grandad! That's a clean peen you've got there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you can do all this by going to manscaped.com and using the code STP20 for 20% plus free shipping. I mean, that's 20% off, not 20% of the product. Manscaped is a one-stop shop for all your holiday needs. They have the perfect gift in the Platinum Package 4.0, plus loads of little presents perfect for your stocking stuffers. <laughs> What better holiday gift than giving the gift of good hygiene and a few laughs? That's so true. Manscaped offer a handful of their liquid formulations. Shampoos, body washes, upstairs and downstairs deodorant, gels, exfoliants, absolutely everything they could need to keep it clean. Amen to that. Lastly, top off the stocking with the crown jewel for their family jewels, the Lawn Mower 4.0. The electric razor's advanced skin-safe technology is a life-changer and known for reducing nicks and cuts on his Santa's sack. (laughs) Get 20% off and free shipping with the code STB20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Just use the code STP20. Manscaped, for a perfect gift that would be the holiday's biggest hit. Cheers. A Rubik's Cube world champion solve... Solved the puzzle uh, in seven seconds. That, I don't think that was a record. But 
Imagine that, seven seconds of song. Good. <laughs> he also completed nearly 7,000 in 24 hours. Wow. I watched a documentary on it on Netflix for Rubik's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> Are you I mean, sponsored by Netflix? Netflix? How much time do you have? <laughs> no, well, this is a documentary. I don't know. Why like, do you have ago. everything we talk about as a Netflix documentary about it? Is, he, is, he, <laughs> is he a Chinese kid? No. No. He's from England. Is he? Yeah. I forget his the name. The guy I followed was a Chinese kid. Followed, yeah, you followed. him? Followed. <laughs> How are you doing there? No, hey, bloody, he's on number 30. <laughs> in, in the <laughs> journey, Give me a cameo. <laughs> in the journey, he's... Chi- no, in the documentary, he's Chinese. In yeah. real life? I think so, in real life The documentary well. would imply it. That's yeah, 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 yeah. So he goes for... And he, <laughs> he, he wins. Is that worth snickering? <laughs> They're in prosthetics. <laughs> 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 you start talking. Even then, when I you get to the point true. of like you can do seven thousand Rubik's cubes a day, Strong wrists. Do you not think you go? Oh, I might try something else now. I might Good try point. and be good at something else. Yeah. What'd no, you you're that? not going to get fed up. Sports. It's just, it's just that, isn't it? Yeah. It's just that. Do you think they're good at fingering? <laughs> Would he have had? <laughs> would he have had? Uh, so you can that, do that. You can do that for twenty four hours. Wow! Is that why you've been? Chinese guys, <laughs> been following. Yeah, is that why you've been following him around? Yeah, you've got any tips, lad? <laughs> Moving on to <laughs> Tony. A great segment. Oh, um, it is. It's going to be a little different this week. <laughs> Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? No, he's thousands of miles away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, the motorbike! Ah! <laughs> 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 Joe sent him out there to find the, the, <laughs> the whole of Asia. <laughs> um, so, I do have Tom Looney's celebrity gossip, and I do have his response. For oh, great. Oh, nice. This week's celebrity gossip. Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski seen kissing on date in New York. Hey, Tom, what do you make of that? Yeah, Pete Davidson spotted with a lady, and not for the first time. Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Thanks, Tom. Cheers, Thank Tom. You. Thank you very much. Tremendous insight. And the fact that you can get that sort of Invaluable. scoop from Vietnam. Oh, a scoop yeah. and a half. That's mm. amazing. What I asked for in the ice cream parlour. <laughs> God. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, speaking of which, it's time <laughs> Fuck for... Fuck off. It's time for... <laughs> you Laugh, You uh, Lose. Yeah. Uh, of course, last time we did You Laugh, You Lose... Max did his, and nobody laughed. <laughs> what? That's insane. Unfortunately, the That's audio cut out, so we couldn't even use it. Um, but he did a he did a great bit on Philip so Schofield and Hardy Willoughby. Yeah, do, I don't think it, you are. You yeah, can do it. You can do it. Using a fast pass uh, at the at the roller coaster rides. They're at Disneyland. Yeah. Not the queue to see the Queen. It was just box. a nice little bit about them doing that. Um, <coughs> yeah. But this this great, week, I thought yeah. I'd change it up a bit because you know for some comedy. <laughs> First of all, fun, second of all, that was technically a laugh during my bit. No, so. uh, this stop much is yet to go. <laughs> <laughs> what worries me is the desperate clutch at that bitch. A lovely bit of a giggle there. Uh, actually, no, it's a new character. It's a you new... should do stand up. <laughs> It's a new Not a giggle out of day. Nice, mate. Somebody laughed outside, it counts. <laughs> you made a stand up. What about this cure, mate? <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh. it's me, Ollie Willoughby. <laughs> it was three years ago, mate. Move on. <laughs> <coughs> Move on. I feel like I'm in a cue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good to laugh. We right. Started, so, we? Um, as you all know, I do a lot of work with the National Association of Migraines. You just tell me when to go, okay? Yeah, of course I will. Uh, this is a great character I've been uh, doing with them for a while now called Ed Ake. Uh, <laughs> That's genius. And this is a talk that I give to the children at school. You say migraines is not like you're harvesting wheat and no, stuff? No, no, this isn't to do with farming. This is to do with the pain in mm. your head. Oh. And this is a great talk I gave to kids at schools. Uh, I used to like Ryan? Sort of, yeah. I used to have opened for him. Um, <laughs> It was a chat I'd give about mixing up your medication. Oh, this is Ed, who was meant to take uh, paracetamol, but accidentally took laxatives, so you can start now. <coughs> oh. Hey, boys and oh, girls! No, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> Gee, this is cheap. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, three, two, one. 
Hey boys and girls, I've done a whoopsie. Oh god, my head hurts, but my bum does too. Oh, you wouldn't like that in the morning, would you? No, not at all. <laughs> hey boys and girls, I've just shit my pants and my head still bloody hurts. I've got a migraine and a shitty bum. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> A pooey bum and a headache. <laughs> That's. <laughs> oh, That's so God. surreal. Oh fuck it. Oh. What got me was like, there's a little, there's a cheeky fart. There was a the cheeky like, fart pushed me over the edge. It was like, <laughs> like a little. Bit. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was finished and then it didn't. Oh, it's stuff. <laughs> oh, I like as you, as you practice in that going, will this work? <laughs> well, that's, uh, yeah, that's a good talk I used to give to the kids. Well done. Thank you. Uh, thanks for educating the youth. <laughs> Someone was blowing raspberries for a minute. <laughs> now, I watched a film the other night called The Menu. The Menu. Is it good? The trailer yeah, looks good. really good. Uh, they call it a horror. It's not really a horror. Mm. Um, it's based on a restaurant that costs 1200 a head. Um, oh. Uh, your head costs about 3000 <laughs> Um What is the most you'd spend on a meal? <laughs> and what would it be? Oh, great question. Thanks. So I imagine you're, you're <clears throat> older. A lot of these people were. What's the most you'd spend on a meal? And go. It, are you getting a location involved here too? And what would it be? So yeah, you explain. What were the what would be the circumstances for you to splash out? Maybe a couple hundred quid. It got me by the sea. Can I have specifics here? Two hundred and fifty quid. Nice. Okay. By the sea. Yeah. And some Blackpool. It is lovely <laughs> seafood. Welcome. Oh, yes, so please. Annoying. I love and. Nice music, maybe a violin You're player. You're DJing. No, yeah, no, I'm just going to tell you what. Yeah, recoup the cash. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be lucky to get a violin player. Why? By the sea for 250 quid. How much do you think they cost for a Yeah, well, I thought everyone's... Chip, it's not a private do this, is it? It's not everyone How chipping in. How much would you spend? And this is just on the food or the it's whole it. occasion? So this is, the, this is the meal. The circumstances around that, mm. what Joe would pay... Two hundred and fifty pounds for, which I now think he's going to split to one two five. As long as we get what? How many courses can I get? Four. You, te- you tell me. Four courses: yeah. soup, starter, main dessert. Soup, two hundred pound for soup. Fucking good soup, French onion. <laughs> <laughs> From French France. Onion. French onion. <laughs> yeah, we had to flour them in France, or you in England? I don't really like France. Oh, actually, I do. Maybe we're in France. <laughs> you went to France for, for your... Yeah, for your it was really nice. That's quite nice. For tax reasons, yeah. you went for your French wing. <laughs> Did so that I mean, work? I don't know yet. I've not done it. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jack, Jack. <laughs> uh, I've it, done a boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Did you get so excited about this meal? Have you got a headache? Your bowel loosened. <laughs> it wasn't. It won't be smelly, that one. Okay. Got a the sun's going down. How do you know that? How much are you paying for him to do that? George <laughs> 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 Very nice. I don't, right, I, there's a lot of pressure on me here. The sun's going down. <laughs> Violin. The sun's out and so's my son. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I got French onion soup on the go. Can I have salt pepper wings? Of course you can. Sure, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, nice main, yeah, 200 quid each. You want a nice main for 200 quid? <laughs> yeah, well, if it's nice, it's a nice setting. <laughs> He's paying a couple of grand, get a bit, half a main. Yeah. <laughs> and some nice steak for main. Yeah, no dessert. Maybe a, a maybe like a nice bit of cheesecake. Oh, I, don't think, right. I don't think what you're asking for is that expensive. I think I could whip you that up. So a bit of cheesecake, yeah. Wings. Wings. your steaks. Mm. I, I cook a mean steak. I don't trust Screen you. lovely yeah. steak. Could you? <laughs> right, what are we all going to pay for? All right, and what if it's cut by Gordon Ramsay? There you go. Yeah, yeah, 200, 200, 200 quid, quid ahead, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you that doing? Five star Four Michelin grand. Yeah. Wow. Four grand? Yeah. No. And what, what do you want from that? Just in my head, four grand, and in the scenario I've got, it's like bread. Do <laughs> <laughs> you owe the chef? <laughs> <laughs> You're just having bread. It's just a tax it's right just now. bread. <laughs> I mean, I've been I've been a part of a, a horrific accident at sea. Wow! I 
washed up on a desert island. Nice. And this one guy there that's got the fucking bread. And he goes, I'll give this to you for four grand. And I'm, yeah. what a situation. I, I'm going to say yes. I'll give yeah. him anything. Surely for your money to have survived <laughs> the sea, yeah. it must be all be coins. Literally just and bags you, uh, of coins. You didn't drown from the weight of 4,000 Excellent swimmer. Coins. No, no, because I, I was in a little... You don't call him the Jim Shark for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the one life raft I use for me and my bags of coins. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Never know what to forget you can pick up rolling. <laughs> Help me up. I'll show, no, you a bit, show you a bit of garlic on for six. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Hang on. <laughs> Deleted the takeaway apps. Nice. I was getting quite addicted to them. I'd be on Just Eat menus whilst on the loo. Just I got on TikTok. So yeah. that's, that's not too bad. But mm. the, do you know what? Now... If I need if I need a shit, I'll go. Oh, where's my phone? Okay. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I, know I know what you mean. mean. I check my phone before I check if there's toilet roll. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Do you think <laughs> <laughs> toilet <laughs> rolls, my uh, Chinese, <laughs> Chinese kids with him? <laughs> <laughs> don't say kid. <laughs> 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 what did you, you do? Flop you kid? one out. Rubik's cube guy. Oh right, I, okay, yeah. You've got to be a kid, though, haven't you? If yeah, you're yeah, adult yeah, doing yeah, seven thousand yeah, in a day, your partner's like, "What the fuck have you done all day?" Never mind that. The maiden needs filling. <laughs> Do you reckon he's got hench fingers? Well, I, I think you've got a finger in. You you've got strangely to, if you're obsessed. Doing that, yeah, I'm not obsessed. I'm that's just how asking. they do it, isn't it? It's like yeah. that. I'm picturing like a really weedy guy, but with like <laughs> Andre the Giant hands. <laughs> Charles's fingers. Well, King Charles's it's fingers. It's like, oh, oh. Yeah, but you do that oh, seven thousand oh, times. Oh. Yeah, as as it, that's what we'll put out. Of <laughs> <laughs> you feeling lucky, bunk? <laughs> You should be. <laughs> it's me, d- Dirty Cammy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like one of the girls from Babe Station. <laughs> dirty Cammy. <laughs> it's now time for Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen Sweet Little Lies. Oh, yeah. He's proper fit and gives me a wide on. See, Jimmy G. I'm so good at this. It is time for you to detect. Yep. Ask we'll me start no with question, you, I'll tell you no lie. What's your tale, boy? I made the kids... No, not the kids. Like the other workers at work get litty. <laughs> not kids, though. Litty committee. Litty, I love that. I'd love to be a part of that. Yo, what's, what's your tale? I'm a fraud? Ooh. Oh, nailed on. Go on then, Joe. I was once in a boy group called Joe. <laughs> <laughs> a boy grape. Fuck. Boys, grapes. Said it. Said it. Said it. A boy um, grape, was it? <laughs> you told, you a told boy me you were a girl grape. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I was once in I a boy... I Rubik's Cube kid and I Max. groped him. I, I once groped a boy. I was in a boy and I groped him. Right, start again, start again. <laughs> I was once in a boy group <laughs> called Joe and Jamie. We were great. And we groped each other. Hold on, no, no. That we were great could really become a lie. Yeah, sorry. Tell us what Jamie's up to now. Jamie is uh, some sort of financial advisor in London. He's got a good moustache. And he had uh, he had quite a lot of brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. They didn't make it to the band. They didn't. Fuck that. that was a, it was a two-piece. Is he a bit of a loner? No, you were. <laughs> Too pay. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm listening. <laughs> and we, yeah, he was just a good mate. He could sing and play the guitar, and I could just sing. Oh, Very good how mate. Good of, how good of a mate was he? <sighs> Enough to grope each other. We were about 13, but we fell apart about 15, 16. That's when the band. Came unstuck, would you oh. say? <laughs> That's where the band really fell through. Did you, did yeah. you come apart at an age of sexual awakening? I don't think there's anything sexual there, although we did record one of our demo singles in his bedroom. Nice. Oh, yeah. What was it called? What was the song? Uh, I think it was... Uh, <laughs> I wanna fuck you. <laughs> Jamie. Don't tell I think it was anyone called closer. about this. Nice. Yeah, closer. Closer, closer nice. Very nice. It's quite good, actually. Okay. Magazine. How'd it go? A woman's gossip, mate. Yeah, uh, and no, I can't sing it now. You know, I mean, I can't. Come on. No. Is it just you hey, going, closer, closer. <laughs> closer, Jamie. <laughs> Move on and then come back to me about how Pock good it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm closer to coming. <laughs> <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> it was ahead of his time. <laughs> Closer, bum, 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 bum. 
Oh, yeah. Is that how it went? Yeah, yeah. Oh, go on, go on, go on. So I'll only no, buy no. this story if you tell me how the song goes. Uh, c- carry on. I'll, I'll come no, no, I want to know how the song goes. Bring me closer, closer. Bring me softly, softly. You were playing the table. Bring me harder, right? harder. <laughs> Bringing me softly so close. So two home. teenage boys are singing this to each other in a No, bedroom. no, no. We're looking out to the crowd. There's no crowd. Well, there was when we... we... Worried parents. <laughs> no, our boys looked uh, up in there. Our biggest moment was headlining the end of year assembly. That's a big deal. Minimum oh, yeah. 400 people in there. And you were singing Minimum. closer? No, we had to do a hymn. What was the hymn? And you will raise me up on eagle's wings. And then, someone, and then James as well. So are all years yeah, in this end of yeah, year assembly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Tom would have seen this. No, no, no. I was, I was, Tom was well older than me. I was year seven. He was year 11. Yeah, so he would have seen it if all years are in there. No, because he's done. He's gone. Oh, okay. Bye bye. We got together. His, his brother got, would have seen it. His brother would have loved it. Andrew Cooney loved it. Right. One of our biggest fans. All right. All right, go on then. How would you get all these uh, work Proper litty. Proper <laughs> <laughs> We do a cocktail called a zombie. Classic cocktail. It's known around the city. Uh, What's your one particular? No, no, just a cocktail. Oh. It's like the Porn Star Martini. Everyone knows it. Uh, but the zombie, you Mojo. hollow out a passion fruit and yeah. put it on the top and you fill it with Ray Nephews. Oh. You know what the best thing about Ray Nephews is? It's overproofed. What does that mean? It means it can be set on fire. I had to make four of these bloody things, yeah? yeah. These fucking Americans. Oh, the Americans oh. are back at it, wow. Yeah. Only bloody spill one of them. Mm. What, and the fire goes everywhere? This is on the tray? Not a big fire, just a little fire. Little fire, fire on Tiny little fire. Mm. But somebody else was holding it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, so what did they do? They went, oh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> oh, did, did, did yeah, yeah, like, it, happens, it happens, it happens. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Why you don't get it. tipped. Yeah, Probably. no one needed to get fucking I didn't get tipped. tipped, the bloody zombie did. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Move on. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, kind of almost worth it just for that. Yeah. Go on then, Steve. What's your, what's your little uh, cheeky tail? Um, I was walking back to the vehicle the other day, and I said, "Hey, is that a bump?" It was a bump. My car had been bumped. <gasps> oh my god! Uh, so then I asked for the CCTV at the car park where it was most likely hit, and they said, "You need the police or your insurance to access the CCTV." So I go on to my uh, my insurance. I type it in, uh, about to make a claim, and it comes up with a load of amber signs saying, as in like, a, sorry, exclamation marks, saying about incidences of, of speeding fines and a parking fine. And I'm looking at these going, hang on, I don't really drive it. Is this Zoe doing it? Look at the locations. We're talking Birmingham. We ain't been in Birmingham. What? She went to Alton Towers, but you don't go through Birmingham. No, 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 it's past that, isn't it? Birmingham. It was like Birmingham. Stoke, then Birmingham. Thank you for yeah, corroborating my story, sir. Yeah, yeah past that. I know, anyway, I know my way up to uh, that neck of the woods. Stafford. So it turns out there is somebody in Birmingham who has been using my license plate. Oh, and really? And done for it. And I think it might be one of the piggy blind. No, I don't. God, it must be. And in other news, still haven't got the CCTV of my car getting wallops. Well, I hope that's not true. Because that's a tragic fate to befall a man. It is. That's awful. It's a shame. What have you been told that you can do about this? About what? About the whole cloned plates issue. Have the police now been informed and they know? Yeah, well, they know it's not my car doing it because I haven't been in Birmingham. Why do you reckon they've targeted your licence plate? You can just enter onto a database. Do you reckon ST tards, maybe? Ooh. No, I've, 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 I've been I've been selling license I plate I merch. I don't think I don't think crime. <laughs> <laughs> I think crime masterminds <laughs> are going. Yeah, we'll get him. Uh, Stay tight. They're good people. Yeah, really good. Well, apparently two of them aren't. Uh, Wait, how many sea tides are there? At least four. <laughs> That's a good ratio of two out of a million. Are a bit wrong. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. That's good. Good ratio. Um. Only takes one grain of salt to spoil the batter, mate. Yeah, my granny only got a card, Rob. They spent uh, then spent all of like loads of money on contactless. Oh. Tie that in it. How long ago was this? Oh, we're thing? still going on about this. I, I, this is going to be my last question. How long ago was a zombie thing? Oh, like the other day, like a week or two ago. Week two ago. Week ago. And does this Look thing happen go. a lot? Not a lot, but it has happened. 
Like it's, it's bartenders. People are making these drinks and then going, whoa, like a Mr. Bean. They're <laughs> making Bean them and then the walking over like the guy from Blackadder. And if this has happened so much, then why don't they just say, you know what, let's set fire to him at the table? No, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't happen. <laughs> it doesn't happen a lot. Let's set him at the table. Oh, of yeah, course you can. No, you'd have to take the Bunsen burner with you. You got a Bunsen burner? We've got a fucking blowtorch. Oh, there's the difference between that and a Bunsen oh, burner. Shit. Nah, there? mate. Is there? Yeah. Isn't a Bunsen burn like what you use yeah, in yeah, school? The, the pipes. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we you don't have pipes. We've got pipes and we've got flames. Well, I'm, 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 torn the between, the I'm torn between these two for some reason. I don't think Juice is true. So, <laughs> That's a fucking joke. Hey, hey. <laughs> Mouth. Cheeky, that, isn't it? I don't think you'd have had any time to sing because you'd have been too close. <laughs> but, um, is it not a legal complication for you to tell us if this was true? I don't think so. First of all, if it Why? is, it can be edited out. Secondly, it's not so. illegal. I've not done anything wrong. And if if my car's been bumped, the CCTV that shows it. Right, I think Steve's telling the truth because he got defensive when I asked that question and that was my trick. So I think you two are telling fibs and Steve's telling the truth. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I thought I was pulling a clever trick on you then. And you out you out trick me with your acting. Uh, la- ladies and gentlemen, please what? welcome to the stage to headline the 2009 Year End Assembly. <laughs> it's Joe and Jamie. Save me Baldwin. Hey! <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> How much did she pay for that thatch? Let's move on to Maxi's Taxi. Maxi's Taxi. Oh, God, I forgot what about this. Maxi's Taxi. <laughs> because book and minutes. Oh, minute. And if him or the person on the phone says it, it's the bit. Okay. Max, come on in. Max. I cannot <laughs> hack this, B. Hello, Britannia. Hello, is this Britannia? Yeah. Hello, mate. I need to get taxi to, uh, to Museum of Glass. Is that the one? The, the, it's got the big glass. See, it's got the word glass on the front. Just give me one second. All right, one. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, where are you going to? Uh, do you do Museum of Wax? Is it? Uh, there's another museum somewhere in the city, I believe. Just give me one second. I'll find out the address of it. Thank you. One second. One. <laughs> <laughs> always, always good to have a laugh. Lot of glass around here. Some could say too much. You have a look. I've been looking all day at this glass. I saw a red one. Yeah, I, I literally can't find anything about a wax museum in St. Helens. Have you have you got any other museum? Because I, it's me and my wife, Deirdre. We're doing um we're doing museum looks at uh, St. Helens because we came down from uh, from holiday. Just got back from Qatar. I've got a new idea. Go on. Cash your card, Cash your card from Qatar. Oh no! For t- <laughs> oh, okay. well done. Fuck you now. <laughs> Max, <Matching. laughs> remember that one you wrote about the fucking windmill? <laughs> well, well, can I do another one or no? Yes. You yeah. No, I can't hack it. Yeah, come on. I can't on. hack it. Well done, Max. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Quite about horrible they are. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Oh, uh, the oh. smell of Joe. Oh, no. My ass. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Wow. Hello, mate. You're what? right. Sorry. Hell. I'm my feet. <laughs> you got what big the, feet. What them feet do? Bad. <laughs> Too many questions for one little boy. You, you know what they say about boys? Well, not boys, men, people. <laughs> I don't know how old you are. How old are you? Oh, you question. don't ask an old cat like me a question like that off the bat. Thirsty boy. Yeah, I am, I am to be fair. The most important question, I suppose, is uh, what, what's your name, sir? My name is Giles Crutch. G- sorry? Giles? Giles Crutch. No need to be sorry. <laughs> Giles Crutch. Crutch? Is that a family name? Cru- the surname is, yes, Crutch. <laughs> Crutch. Crutch, you fuckwit. Crutch. What are the ladies' names? What? 
Uh, the lady's called Crotch as well. You said the sir's name. I said the surname. There was no plural. Uh, <laughs> what uh, What are you up to today, Charles Crotch? Giles Crotch. <laughs> What's your name? Joe. Mind if I call you Pudding Boy? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I misheard you. Pudding Boy. <laughs> are you saying Jeez. Crotch as in like penal area? Or Crotch as in the things that my as dad uses? As in the Crotches. The great business people. So what business are they in? I'm in the Poofay business. Poofay? Poofays. The poofs, yes. What's one? Oh, the poofs. selling the furniture piece. Yes. Oh, oh he's got. Hey. Right. Okay, so what, what brings you here then? Well, I've, poofs. I've had to pack up and leave. Oh, leave where? The poof factory. Guitar. Oh, oh no. Why? Why is you sold, that? You sold all your poofs. Why is <laughs> Well, I've been trying my darndest. <laughs> I've had this a lot of money over there. Yeah. So I, I left Brussels oh, no. and it's straight to Qatar to get my business up and running for the World Cup. Are you from Brussels? No. I say it doesn't Wait, sound very Belgian. The poof factory's in Brussels, I guess. Yes. yes. You know no. a lot. So how did you try and sell... Your... Best? <laughs> yes, please. How did you find it trying to sell your poofs? Oh... Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely ghastly. Oh, I was yeah. in the guitar shopping centre, some moron blaring out Rita Ora for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm there with my great sign. <laughs> Gotta be you, you just did yeah. Katy Perry. Poof's yeah, available, yeah, yeah. poof's available, I shout. <laughs> oh, I was hounded out of that place. Really? As quick as can be. I thought, oh, <laughs> look at all these men running over, hankering to put their feet up of a night time. <laughs> but no... They wanted me out of there. Oh, my really? That's outrageous. Me. Did they put you in the first flight back? I was kicked out of there. They threw <laughs> me into the sea <laughs> with a load of poops. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, the furniture? Yes. <laughs> my livestock, <laughs> yeah. if you will. Oh, dear. So what happened? Did they all sunk? They are all soggy. Oh. I'm just lying around soggy with poops. a bunch of soggy poops. Yeah. Oh, God. Can you dry them off? Blow dry them? I won't be blowing on my poofs, no, sir. Don't blow on your poofs. When I look at them, I just see them sopping wet, and I think, oh, memories of what could have been. You want them oh. to be dry and hard. Dry, hard, sturdy poofs. That's what I've been known for. Sure, but sure. Us crotches are known for good poofs. <laughs> Do you think about making any water-resistant poofs for the future? Fuck you, pudding boy. Hey! So, so what's your what's your plan? Are you going to try and break the Qatari market? Or are you gonna, I just want to break them. This? Full stop. Yeah. You is mess it, with the crutches, Qatari. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> mess with us crutches? Having met you now, Giles, I can see <laughs> the crutches are a stiff people. We and are there's nothing not, worse than a stiff crutch. <laughs> don't trifle with my crutch, said my father. <laughs> So this is the start of like a war between the Crotches and the Qatarians. Absolutely. A uh, war they shall lose. And yeah, the, of course. The Crotches are, are people of means. We have hundreds, nay, thousands of soggy poofs ready to be thrown at them <laughs> like a missile. Take oh. that, take that. Poof after poof. <laughs> take that, everyone. How, how heavy is one poof to, to throw? Oh, well, now it's yeah, it soaked up all that seawater and it's quite hefty. You can put semen then. <laughs> we need semen to hatch, fetch up to, to pick them up yeah yes have you ever had trifle with a crutch <laughs> I you know what if I was offered the chance I wouldn't turn it down what you don't trifle with us sir oh I thought you meant the dessert trifle eating yeah, off a crotch no with a crotch pudding boy yeah. by name pudding boy by nature <laughs> I love stop pudding. thinking about the trifle dessert will you anyway I'm looking for some strong man to help me take on guitar. I'm looking at three behemoths here. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of microphones for once. So. <laughs> there are no microphones where we're going. We're in a plane throwing poofs down a guitar. <laughs> oh, right, okay. What if they land on the wrong people? We don't care at this Doesn't point. Matter. Yeah. Doesn't you matter. You trifle with a crutch, you get bombarded with poofs. <laughs> oh, why did they just land in the desert? Well, that's bad aim, boys. Get a of there's camels. also bad Get a of camels in there. You're not the kind of guy I'm looking for here. What are, what are What's the pilot there for? You'd go for the main city. Exactly. You would, you'd go over the desert. I'm heading you? straight for the shopping centre. <sighs> Just the shopping centre, mainly. Right. And the homes already be there, mate. And the nurseries of where the <laughs> children go. <laughs> he, he can meet us there. I'll meet you there. I'll play the tunes. What? Huh? I'll play the tunes. What tunes? But you'll be on the ground floor. You'll be the one that's Say getting what? hit. Bang bang He's... by Nicki Minaj. 
<laughs> Your head would be getting battered by Paul. Them. He will be oh, mo- mocking me. Ho- Get out of here. <laughs> more useful in the shopping centre because he can make sure all the targets flee outside. Could you not lift so up then, a few poofs and I help throw, us out? I'll throw a poof or two. Looks like we have one seat taken. <laughs> We've got a lot of poofs to sit as well. It's not really a matter of issue. Well, I see you there, boys. Yeah. What about you, sir? Me, you know me, I'm always... He's poof general. Really? Yeah, PG, that's what they call me. The amount of, poof, <laughs> the amount of poofs I've seen this guy toss him, you, you need him. That sounds like a treat and a half. Yeah, I've got two hands, you know, more than happy to... Big mouth. <laughs> Big... Bad. What was that? <laughs> Do that again, sorry. Do that again, what? You're yeah, not on a hot plane. I'd, 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 sorry, I don't want to be handling... Sorry, the, the crotches do not want your tongue waving around willy-nilly. <laughs> we, we, all play, we all play it so straight until you got the two overexcited. Love and here, boy. To, to... <laughs> You're going nowhere near the crotches cockpit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, tongue wagging. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm Forget worried. it. Forget it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even like poofs. I'm a oh. beanbag man. It was an innuendo. <laughs> it was all fine. What was the innuendo of? <laughs> you alright, mate? You're all right. <laughs> I better. don't even know. Reality ticket to our No, my, my dad was after a poo for Christmas. So oh, oh, really? He's been messaging me a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, it's now time for Joe's Woes. Yes, please. It's Woes. Joe's, Joe's Woes. Joe's Woes. Everybody loves Joe's, Joe's Woes. Wow. Okay, sparkling water. What the fuck is that about? And if you like sparkling water over still, you're part of my big woe. I, Grow I, up. I don't like sparkling water. I hate it. Give it out. But also, there's a lot of differences in other waters. They've got soda, you got tonic. Don't like tonic. That's really it. No, I don't like it. I like soda, though. I'll give you that. I hate soda. I Why think is sparkling, sparkling water called sparkling water when it doesn't necessarily sparkle? If you hit water it in the right the light, water. the water, the bubbles pop in. It's yeah. like you know, sparkling. It sort of makes a noise as well. Yeah. Does it really? If you if you were in this restaurant that Steve mentioned before, if you were given a water option, what would you go for? Tap, still. tap, still. Sparkling. Depends on paying four grand or not for my meal. I'm going to get a bit of bread. I'll have a bit of <laughs> decent fucking water with it. To be fair, I want still water. And I think there's a bit of pretentiousness about sparkling when people go, oh yeah. Who orders sparkling water? Uh, next up on my list was, and I, and I don't mean this in general, I mean sometimes traffic lights just aren't on your side. Yeah. And that is a well. Sometimes you'll catch a red and then that's all you're going to see. And then it flickers. And do you know what? I've actually been done. I got my first three points for running a red light the other day. Because they're against me, Steve. They're against me. Did you hear anyone? I think when you're looking out for it, it will happen, you know? Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you're in a rush, that's it, the worst. It's, it's all it's the, the more fucking worst. Because then it's like, oh, this has really set me back even more. If you leave a couple of minutes earlier, a red light won't affect you too much. You say you only ever hit red lights when you're in a rush, but that's only because you'll only ever notice them. That's it. Mm. When you're in a rush, especially as a, as a non- Ian Rush was on the list, but I'll move on. Cramp. Why don't you know it's coming? Um, don't know anything's coming. Do you when it's uh, your body? You don't get like a note in the post saying. Which well, sometimes you can feel a headache coming on. Remember the cramp water? twins? Yeah. Oh, that, that show would give show. me a headache. It was yeah, shit. It was, awful. it was so bad. Animation Did you get really cramp? Janky. From watching the cramp twins? Like brain cramp. It's a yeah. 4D experience. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not kidding. That, it was a weird show. Fucking yeah. Yeah, The way they drew the characters, right? They colour them in and then they put the lines outside of where they coloured them in. So mm. like it was done by a kid and it was really odd. Trippy. And and one of the brothers was just normal coloured and the other one was blue. What does normal coloured mean? Ooh. Just, you know, like a colour you didn't expect. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. Ooh. Fucking Ooh. disgusting oh. behaviour that is. Fuck off. Boo. 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 <laughs> 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 Fucking what? <laughs> Scoundrel. <laughs> Scoundrel, Typical yeah. Typical England fan. That's awful, that is. Oh. This kit changes people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it does, man. Final one, when you give someone your phone to look at a picture and then they just start scrolling. Oh. And it's like, oh. hold on. Yeah, when you show them one and then they go left yeah, and right. Yeah, then they go left and right. Hey, you're fucking stop. You're looking at that one. Yeah, man. Yeah, a picture of me shit on that. For the doctor. For the doctor. What's wrong with your bottom? Was. Back in the day, there was something wrong with my bottom. Why is it still on your phone then? I might be showing them a picture. Of, well, look like, like I just showed you then. There was a picture of me from ages ago. So you just keep all these pictures? So you're saying one of your it's profile pictures was your poo? I'm, re- I'm ready for the Russians to hack me. And then they can just see stool pics. Yeah. Stool? 
Also, if it's two or three years ago, that'd be a lot of swiping to get to it. New segment, Reese's Feces. Reese's <laughs> Feces, and you show us your peanut poo. Yeah. The time I pooed oh. myself and left my underpants by the side of the road. Told you that story, didn't I? What? And then Say the builder too. found my phone next to my underpants oh, yeah, you've told and took that. pictures of the poo. So there's a picture of poo. <laughs> 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 what did the message you just unsolicited picture without explanation? So what happened was, what happened was I went to I was so Russia. drunk. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I was basically so drunk I had to poo on the side of the road, but then my phone dropped next to the, the oh, next to the underpants. No. Yeah. I run home naked, well top top on, and then I, I've had no a shower, pants. and then I'm lying in my bed like that, falling asleep. Uh, whoa, 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 hang on! Do you have any pants? No, I don't have any pants on. What a sight that was. That was a sight. And everyone's, as I was running home, as I was running home, <laughs> it was like 4 a.m. As I was running home, everyone's security lights were turning on. Of course, he so fucking was. escaping from prison. Not the only flagger. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then my, my, my dad got a call in the morning oh, no. from my phone. Your daughter was running home last night. <laughs> <laughs> You got a cracking set on yeah. it to be back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't. I, I, I was top on. Was there a trail? Wait, of, wait. Was there a trail of shit? <laughs> take a picture and a laugh. Hey, no. <laughs> Not at that. Don't take a picture of that. Take a picture of this. Was there a trail of shit from your underwear to your house? <laughs> Oh, fuck you. A fucking snail <laughs> like a, a, a really shit version of Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> <laughs> Hansel and Gretel. That's what so hang on, you're not finishing this. Well, the builders, so... uh, my dad called me yeah. to see how I was. The builders picked up and said, hello, yeah, we found this phone by the side of the road. Oh. Uh, and then my dad, no, my dad got my mate Andy to go pick it up. And then when I'm looking at my phone, I'm good. It took me about a couple of days to look at my photo album. And then there is just loads of pictures of my <laughs> underpants and loads of shit. Oh. Oh. That's so bad. You know what the scary thing is as well? Is there's probably people who have like those ring doorbells. And they're oh. <laughs> looking no, no, through no. the face at night. <laughs> and they just see your naked body no, no, running past. <laughs> swear, to, <laughs> swear to God. We're Ten just, years time. <laughs> Craig Charles will be doing a documentary yeah. on Bravo. About the time the aliens <laughs> found it. <laughs> And there'll be footage of the fucking... The, the streets! Some the alien roamed the streets as the smell of shit <laughs> filled the air. I tell you, Craig, there's smell around there. That was disgusting. It was about <laughs> six years ago. Kid. Ring wasn't a thing. Well, oh, oh, thank God. It's you in your ring. <laughs> <laughs> now, that did exist. <laughs> Uh, fucking hell. It's now time for our <laughs> next segment. <laughs> Kami Wami G tells you how it's gonna be. You can't handle the truth. Well, I didn't vote for you. <laughs> no one's ever actually heard that all the way through, because <laughs> halfway through you just get bored and talk over it. <laughs> <laughs> First one. There's a lot an, an awful lot of footballers who haven't made the World Cup. Yeah. They must be really sad it? about it. Well, you have, to, you have to qualify. <laughs> so there's some really good, there's some really good players. So if you, if you qualify, sculptors <laughs> make the World Cup. Right? <laughs> some great banter there. There's, there's really good players, right? And they yeah. play for like Norway. You probably make the Euros, but we will make the World Cup because they're really good. And other players on the team are really shit. Mm. So they should because it'll get everyone invested in it. Get people to vote. And everyone in the world can vote for a team of players that haven't made the World Cup and then any decision it makes on the team and shit, the way they line up, what formation they play, whatever else, people vote for that. Not a bad idea. I'd rather see that than Saudi Arabia. So I think Iran, the issue you're going to have shit. there is people are going to troll and they're going to make fun. Yeah, fuck accounts. it. It's fun, isn't it? You're going to have bloody Rob Green playing f- Rob left, Green, where the fuck did Rob Green come Centre from? left wing, yeah, with Sol Campbell in goal. Sol yeah, Campbell, yeah, but that's fucking banter. Yeah. That. That's well funny. That would be quite funny. That, would, that's but after well the fun. first game, you you wouldn't you wouldn't get the highs and lows of true football, would I'd you? Much rather a legends team than a uh, than a team of existing players. Well, yeah, mm. so the legends can be invited on. Then that's a good compromise. Rob Green, Henri. 
Clarence Seydorf, get him in, remember when he did he's soccer in great aid? Shape. Yeah, he's he is, yeah. Shape. Ronaldo? Oh, he's yeah, in the World Cup, actually, to I'm be fair. Shape, is it? World is burning. It's, it's your second point. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of my woes. The penguins <laughs> are being. Drafted. Killed. Oh, not the penguins. Is that a point two? The penguins, yeah. The penguins are all in big trouble. Fuck them. Yeah, also. They ain't got nowhere to live. It's too hot for the penguins, which is why I say don't save the penguins. Shave the penguins. Nice. There we go. Nice. Net minute. Net minute, loads more hair to go around. I bet you look like a penguin when you were running back. <laughs> Your legs together. <laughs> Flappy feet out. <laughs> I've never seen an half brown penguin. <laughs> <laughs> noop, noop. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pungu. <laughs> <laughs> That's not goo. <laughs> He's my pink and goo. It was like Yazoo. Oh, 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 strawberry oh. one. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, no, chocolate, chocolate. Yeah, vanilla. Nice. <laughs> uh, shave the penguins. Loads of benefits to shaving penguins. Is like it? what? Name like one. What? See their arse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Booty. There you go. Bit of fun. Um, yeah. Fun save the do. penguins, though, guys. Final point, please, Cam. The other day, I was watching the Hunger Games. I think, you know, politicians, when they, they make a certain load of money and everyone finds out on the expenses, yeah. they're taking the piss and loads of people are dying because they can't afford to heat or eat the, or eat the homes. Can't afford to heat the homes. <laughs> eat the homes. We're all living <laughs> gingerbread houses. They're, eat, they're, eat, they're eating the bricks, they're eating the mortars. <laughs> then um, if you told it up, Politicians claiming those expenses probably could have saved a lot of lives if they weren't all so 100%. horribly greedy and the, utterly yeah. fucking useless. The so Christmas why don't parties. why don't we make yeah. them do the Hunger Games? Yeah, I, I yeah. back it. That's Unfortunately, good. Unfortunately, the people that are in power to put that to a vote to the public. Then yeah, that's so true. We do a vote now, guys. Write in the comments if you want to put your local I mean, constituent. In the, yeah, yeah tag your local MP. I in think. the interest of regulating my total journalistic impartiality. Cross party, all MPs are responsible for doing this kind of shit where they take expenses yeah, and then yeah. actually the representation of the constituents is terrible. There should be a threshold, and when they reach that certain threshold, it's like, uh oh, you're going in the fucking jungle, pick up your bow and arrow. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you're in big fucking trouble. Or a spear, a cake of batter. Do you know what it is? Recently, Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby. Did a spin the wheel. One of the things was we pay your energy like bills, energy bills or, or ones pay five thousand. That is like the start of us putting everyone into an arena and saying kill each other. That is some fucking horrible. That's awful. It's it's like like we've got a mirror, long way yeah. to go though, haven't we? Like you'll get a free holiday to Cancun, or we'll pay your bills, and there's people going pay the fucking bills. <laughs> exactly, please. it is fucking horrendous. Yeah, Philip, fuck off. Yeah, Philip. Take your local MP. <laughs> Philip, and your, and your take local, your local MP. Your local yeah. Cube presenter. Question. Offer us all, I think. Pump push Oh, shut up. Offer us all. Pump push on, actually. Is that you? It is me. Pump push on, actually. Is this BBC radio presenter, Jim McGrath? Offer us all. What, is, what does that mean? One, one for us all. all. Can you that. tell from? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> That's amazing. You're having a stroke. One <laughs> for us all, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Where's one place you want to visit next year? Your mum does. Yeah, to be fair, not seen it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time we saw you, fam? Uh, fucking like five, six years ago. That was cool. I wasn't really? sure, but then he said fam. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You should see him soon. Yeah, I will do, mate. Cheers. One place you'd like to visit is the driving centre, then. Or the test centre. Yeah. That means you've got... Or get one of those quick fire ones. <coughs> quick fire, not cars, but quick fire uh, lessons. Yeah. Or the crash courses. Yeah. Just think soon as he learns to drive, though, we won't be able to get him away from that wax museum. <laughs> <laughs> be there all the fucking time. <laughs> what about you, Jeff? Italy. Oh, Never nice. really been. Go visit Go Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An island as well. I've not been to Ireland in a while. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. That's on our bucket list. Hit over Ireland. Well, hit, hit Ireland. Hit Italy. Nice. Last couple of years, I've appreciated Italian food mm. a lot more than I did while, when I was a young... Pizza and chips. 
Spaghetti <laughs> bolognese and chips. Italian chips. Italian <laughs> chips. <laughs> Lasagna and chips. <laughs> in France, they're called pom frites. No. Oh. Very nice. Hey, what are they yeah. called in Italy? What are they called French fries in France? <laughs> <laughs> you sell some culture, mate. That's a la domestic fries, actually, over there. So, uh. I, so I could see, I'd like to go to Italy at some stage, toss some scrum. But I hear that Rome's a bit of a um, yeah. Rome, I went all. in September and it was just packed with tourists yeah. and people trying to sell you uh, tours of the Vatican. Naples is kind of dangerous, so yeah. <laughs> oh, Our Rome's king point. has arrived! <laughs> Annabelle, Annabelle got me this from Amsterdam, look at that. It's a boob and then when you squeeze it, it goes... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's fucking... And then if I put it there... What does it taste like? Just kind of like plastic. Taste it? <laughs> ever, ever the food okay. reviewer, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just more, guys. You can't get this in Naples. Subscribe for what? <laughs> it sort of tastes like plastic. Oh, it just kind of tastes like plastic. That'd be the best with my candy plush. Yeah. <laughs> Tokyo. Oh. See, the thing about they say about Tokyo is like you have to sit in them. To, if you want to eat out of a night I don't mind out, sitting down. Yeah. You, you, you have to sit next to like just random people and strangers and talk. I do it, I do it now. Mammoth, though, and they're not British. <laughs> but, well, yeah, they're not going to Hey, what's going, going on here? You have to take your shoes off as well. At some restaurants, take your shoes off at the door. Yeah. Look at that if you sit next to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that will put what's you that off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the cheese. Oh. <laughs> so, isn't there like this thing in um, South Asia, Southeast Asia, rather, mm. where people's sweat doesn't smell? There's a thing, I'm, really? I'm, not, I'm not kidding. In like Korea, it's like a biological thing that after years of treating themselves in such a way to, to get to stop the smell for years and years, the sweat doesn't smell. It's like a biological thing. Maybe we can get th Tom to go there, sniff, sniff some people. Yeah, yeah sniff some Great moments. second channel video. Him. I reckon just the tour around Asia. Where do you want to go? Asia. This bum looks nice. Ooh. Well, yeah, I, I've, I've, done my, I've done my first degree on... Um, Asian cult on Chinese culture, Maoist communist culture. So I got an was, insight into that was a how all that works. Waste of time. First yeah. degree burn. Yeah, I'll give you that one. That's very good. Hey. First degree Chinese burn. Ow! Just give him a Chinese burn. Get out, Joe. No, what sorry. No, get out, man. Get out. <laughs> he said get China. Out, that Walk really out. hurt, man. Yeah, that's sorry, that's just about that. No, that really hurt. But, uh, strong like the guy with Rubik's cube fingers. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, go wax your bum now. No, no, no. <laughs> Where would you like to go, Stephen, next year? Ooh, Italy does sound good. Mm. Italy does sound. Yeah. Maybe the trending tab on YouTube. So that guys, <laughs> you'd like a Florence oh. or somewhere, wouldn't you? I'd like maybe I hear about Sorrento, mm. Sorrento. Italy. Wherever they grow lemon trees, that sounds nice. Yeah. Maybe that's for when I'm a bit older. Is that Sicily? Sicily, sure. Yeah. Factory exhausted. Did it say? <laughs> Right, do you guys want to get around here and say goodbye? Yeah? Hey guys, um, on that note, we're going to have to go. Thank you very much for watching. I've been joined by Max Smith. Bye guys, thank you for watching. See Jimmy G. See ya. Uh, Jim McGrath has been kicked out. And me, stay safe, stay humble. Ciao. <laughs>